What is going on, everybody? October it is 18th, Pixel Partners. 10 a.m. District Court courtroom number four. And we are back at Venus, right? We are. We left off. Things that, oh, of Whoa. course it's you again. Of course <laughs> it's you again. Court is now in session for the trial. Jesus, you got three times as <laughs> aggressive as the judge was before. It's been a while. How is it going, fellow kids? How's it going, bros? <laughs> My name is the judge. Okay. <laughs> the prosecution is ready, your honor. You're a sexy man. <laughs> the defense is ready, your honor. You spiky man. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that on 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. Lies. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. Lies. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Mmm. I see. Very well. I'd like to move on to some testimony. Get on me some testimony. I was going to say it like that. That was a weird way to say it, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Moving on to some testimony. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call this first witness. Okay, Mr. Giggles. <laughs> Very well. I call a most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. A most familiar face. He looks so Gumdrop. confused. Detective, <laughs> if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir, I'll explain with the guide map here. <laughs> to understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? The layout. This here is the employee area. The actors did a run through of their action scenes during the morning here. <laughs> hey, we were there. <laughs> this is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Uh. <laughs> Past the security station, there is a gate, see? Past there are the studios. <laughs> Damn studios. And here it is. The, studio One. It's a universal studio. <laughs> God <everybody>. damn it. <laughs> this is the scene of the murder where the body was found. And there's a it ain't Nickelodeon Studios <laughs> now, you see. <laughs> now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. Jack Hammer. The defendant, <laughs> Will Powers. <laughs> And a young woman, the production assistant. She did it. <laughs> All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Employee area? <laughs> then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. You keep changing his voice. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to this guard station. Now, jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production <laughs> staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. Canceled. Like his life. <laughs> like his life. Stab in the heart. With no and blood. Who's to blame? <laughs> you. It was a vampire. <laughs> the time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Uh, should I listen to that whole thing again? Uh -huh. well, I think the point is to get like the time frame of everything, but I think that's... Fine, so. Okay. I think you probably remember that. So the murder weapon. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, sorry. Don't take my lines, boy. Sorry. Ah. <laughs> so the murder ah. weapon was a spear. How medieval? Have you Sam been to medieval to times? It's a wonderful place. I haven't, Your Honor. Yes. Okay. This case is quite simple if you ask one question. We need to hurry up so I can go to medieval times and get me some of them fucking chicken wings. Okay. They give you a whole rotisserie. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the oh stand. Oh, boy. Time to challenge your every word, ma'am. Ah, I look like an angry bird. Will the witness declare her name? Hmm. Old bag. Hmm. <laughs> My, aren't you a handsome fellow? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. I'm afraid you're a bit I, uh, I forgot terrifying. my voice for a second. <laughs> you, your name, <laughs> please. Like, oh, God. Oh, dear. Ain't no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me grandma. Your name, <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> Seems Edward has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. 
Wendy old bag, dearie. <laughs> Your poor, poor family. <laughs> Whoa, so oh, just coming up. This is all her. <laughs> he literally objected her. <laughs> Objection. I object to the witness's talkativeness. <laughs> Objection sustained. <laughs> Even he's like, holy shit. <laughs> the witness will fucking chill the fuck out. <laughs> I was just getting to the good part, dearie. <laughs> Perhaps we can get to the testimony. <laughs> now the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, he I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. Uh, you may begin your testimony. You may begin to shut the fuck up. <laughs> she sure is one hell of an old bag. Damn! Wow, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up <laughs> assholery. Okay. Why is he such a dick? I don't know. Ah, right, your testimony. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at one o'clock p.m. Hold it. <laughs> Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through since the morning. I well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, <laughs> that seems shady. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it was one o'clock when I got to the guard station. Okay. I was at the main gate from then until 5. Okay. Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at 2 o'clock p.m. It was Powers! That man right there! And he was heading toward the studio. Mmm. Mmm, can I have one of your gumballs? <laughs> you saw the defendant then. Mm. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I'm ready to tear this old bag to pieces. Ah! All right. <laughs> so then the murder arrived at the guard station 1 p.m. And the day That's of fine. the murder. Hammer, the rest of the going run through since the morning. That's fine. Well, I had some errands around that morning. Hold it! What, <laughs> what kind of <laughs> What kind of errands? errands? <laughs> oh, well, you know. <laughs> Answer the question. <laughs> Phoenix is so fucking done with everybody. <laughs> Actually, I was watching Barhammer and Powers, observing, you know. Uh, observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? Whippersnapper! I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job! I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I always watch Hammer's run-throughs, always. Never missed one in all my years. Wow, I want to see a still samurai run through too. Not gonna happen anymore. <laughs> you could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. I love Maya so much. <laughs> Anyways, there's one when you got to the guard station. Hold it, are you sure? Did you see the victim then? Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Tell us what happened next. Okay, that's boring. I was at the main gate from then until five. Hold it! <laughs> so you're watching there the whole time? No breaks? Not even a second? Uh, of course! I'm a professional, you know! You seem very unsure about that. Or are you criticizing how I do my job, whippersnapper? No, it's just after seeing you gave me those donuts in the guard station yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I can watch the gate and eat donuts at the same time! Whipper s- Whoa, snipper whapper! Snipper whapper? Old windbag is losing it, Nick. <laughs> Why don't you raise an objection? <laughs> You'd think that she would have to say that. No, right? It's weird. Maybe they- So, right. the witness was on duty through the afternoon whole time. Very well. What did you see? Now, the murder happened at 2.30, right? And there's not really much question about that. Just because of Rockford Bad. Because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. Let me go ahead and press you on this one. Yeah. Two. You sure about that one, Chief? <laughs> sure as spit. Well, who was the man? Really, you should try not to get so excited at your age. You might strain something. Bitch, you're the same age as me. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, don't get your skivvies on in a bunch. I'll tell you who it was. All right, so. Before I pull up a walker, 
I'm gonna give it a chance. This is the last one, and that's them saying it was powers. But, can they really say it was when it's just a man in a suit? Mm -hmm. Present. Oh, yes! <laughs> Let me get this straight, old bag. Um, Miss, Miss Old Bag. <laughs> You've been saying since yesterday you saw Mr. Powers, correct? Mm -hmm. But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? J just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. Of course. Mmm! Mmm. Stop taking my lines. I know, it's just that you said that and then you were silent, so I did that just in case. No, I, I did the mmm ahead of time. You're what? psychic. What? Like Maya. Shh, what is this exactly? She's not psychic. None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag. What? Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course! Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can play me see that's Powers, right? No, they can't! <laughs> mm. Um... <laughs> uh, uh, well, I mean, I wonder. <laughs> He's so tilted! <laughs> True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. Like, even, even Edgeworth knows that there's a huge <laughs> loophole in that. Yeah. And he's like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, Mr. Witness. He's having trouble calling your old bag, apparently. <laughs> However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? <laughs> Nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What? What? Yeah. Huh? Even he's like, what? <laughs> Even Edgar was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> the prosecution would like to ask the old... The witness. <laughs> Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I supposed to know everyone would be so nosy? All should, you, you all should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good, this isn't any good as evidence, pal. Good impression. <laughs> he didn't even give it the second look. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. Gumshoe. I feel so bad for him. Wow, old Boonbag has left even Edra speechless. 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 She, she's good. <laughs> she's left you speechless too. <laughs> Let's no hear surprise. about your proof then. Lay it on me, bitch. Lay it on me, the man in the photo. Lay it on me, old bag. <laughs> old hag. Old hag bag bag hag. Miss Mag and his hag. Go. Okay. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. Okay. That morning during the run through of the action scene. I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg. See, clear as day. That's how I knew it was Mr. Powers. Happy? Hmm. That's all conjecture. Hmm. So he had a sprained his ankle. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's got to be hiding something. Yeah. I'll press her until she squeals. That sounds real bad, <laughs> Phoenix. Real bad. Not what I want to do. Not what I'm aiming for in this testimony here. Number one. You don't. You never say anything at all. I'm gonna press you on that one. Hold it, bitch. Um. Wait, my stepper. <laughs> hey, I haven't said anything yet. I'll have you know I'm not pointing fingers at anyone behind their backs. Everything I've said is on the straight and narrow, the up and up. Youth today always whining about each other, uh -oh, pointing fingers uh -oh, and nothing uh -oh, to get on my uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, please, for all our sakes, try not to upset the witness. I think Edgeworth has met his match. Oh, man. That's funny. They've got some middle ground now with this crazy lady. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the next thing I saw Powers trip and fall. Did you now? Mm -hmm. Trip and fall. Yes, and to think he's supposed to be the steel samurai. What a laugh. So Power sprained his ankle. I helped him make it better for him, of course. I, I helped make it better. You helped make it better? <laughs> With the only way a granny can. Oh my god. I kissed it where it hurt. Um. 
let, let, let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant then? Oh, uh, she was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about the powers' of ankle. <laughs> the powers. <laughs> hmm. You may continue your testimony. He's so intense. Okay. He broke one of the props. Hold it! Because mm. based on the picture, look, he broke the spear. Yeah. He broke a prop. Well, the spear is a prop. That's oh, you. <laughs> sure did. His own samurai spear. Spear is a prop, you dumbass. The samurai spear. <laughs> the murder weapon. Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. Let's see. The break the chef has been mended with duct tape. Hmm. Understood. Yeah. Apparently sprained his ankle pretty bad. I don't really have much. No. Uh, was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Not so bad he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Thus the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot. Okay. <laughs> Boom. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Lay it on me, Judge. Which is? Where is this Steel Samurai costume now? Um... Hmm. Actually, well... We couldn't find it. <laughs> We're looking, though. Hmm! <laughs> anyway, that's not important. I mean, it kind of is, dude. The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes? And it's clear that the person in the steel samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm, I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? <laughs> Objection! Yep. I'm not going to wait and see what happens. No. Hold it right there. Hold it! <laughs> we keep talking possibilities, but ha we have to agree that this photo shows the steel samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Nope. Hmm... The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Ah, uh, what are you doing, dude? Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. What are you doing, boy? Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. <laughs> okay, I, I pressed something continued. and made her go with the great. Okay. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. That was a short-ass testimony I've got to cross-examine. Hmm. So if no one else went into the studio, then it would have to be this dear samurai who did it. I have an idea. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. I think I have an idea. And it's something I talked about before. I love Gatorade! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Alright, time of Hammer's up was 2.30 p.m. The only person I saw go to the studio before mm. then was Will Powers. Lemon Lime! No one else went there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna press both of these, because they're both kind of tied together. I don't know which one to hit. Let's go ahead and hit this. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody suspicious looking passed by at all. Nobody suspicious looking. Right. No one else went there. Hold it! Yeah. What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before one o'clock? Why, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention... If they had, I would have seen him. So... <laughs> you might need to pull up the walkthrough soon. Oh boy. But... If I have one thing that I can hit her with, it is a fact that the photo is photo number two. Yeah. I just don't know which one it wants me to hit. Mm. If it wants me to hit the no one else went there, the only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. I don't know which. Just in case I'm going to go ahead yeah. and do a little quick save on this. Just in case. Granted, it shouldn't take off too much of the little no. battery up top. But I think this one. Yeah, because that was like her confirmation with photo of the previous. Number two. Boom. Objection. Boom! Ooh. Ha, ta, ta, ta. Hold on. Look at this photograph. Look at this one photograph. <laughs>
Every time I look at me, Nickelback I, once again. <laughs> how did our eyes get so red? Because of the blood on the dark magistrate? Okay, evil. look at this photograph one more time. It's called Evil Magistrate. Not dark Whatever. Magistrate. Oh, this oh. photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios. Correct. Correct, Mundo. Yes, sir, is, honey. So, when everyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer at the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words, October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number 2. Even I know that means it was taken at 2 o'clock p.m. on October 15th. Really, Sonny? Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says, Photo number 2. Photo number 2? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Hmm. Shouldn't this photo be photo number 1 if it was the only photo? Oh. Order, order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright! Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yep. Yet there's only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Mm. Only someone with access. The <gasps> security lady herself. Eh! You watch your mouth, whippersnapper! The only person I saw that day was Will Powers! But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to me. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, uh, whoops, wrong old person. Ahem, <clears throat> I don't understand with these newfangled computer things. You know, split personality disorder and all that stuff. <laughs> um, edgy boy, help! <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this. What, I I don't know what this means either. <laughs> Some help you are. You are a whipper snapper too. Hmm. Hmm. Whipper snapper. Something the matter, Miss Old Bag? Ah, that's right. I I just remember something. Of course you did. Let me guess. You're fucking lying. <laughs> Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai? Uh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. It's my sugar daddy. <laughs> hey, I see. Your testimony, please. Lion, bitch. All right. <laughs> the other person. Who could they be? What could they have wanted? Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the surgical... Security computer and check them. Use your words, ma'am. <laughs> I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. <laughs> Miss Old Bag. This is the first I've heard of this. <laughs> so fucking done. Well, of course, Sonny, I've only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. Even she looks fucking frustrated, yeah. like, oh my god, this bitch on the stand. Please. Okay. What can I hit her with from that? So every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I don't know. Sure, let's press it. Another job? Are you a grocery store clerk or something? What you got? Hey, don't put her kind with my kind. <laughs> and yours, too. You're right. <laughs> Th that's right. I check all the people that passed by the main gate that day. I look closely at every one of the photos that security camera takes. Do you back up all the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes. But those computers are just so frustrating. So you don't. Okay, good. <laughs> Throw it in front of some suspicious looking, you see. Hold it. <laughs> but wait, there's more. How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Yeah. 
Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces, for the most part. The fuck is up with you? For the most part, like for, for, for the most part. But well, this is a murder trial, Miss yeah. Orbeg. <laughs> well, I didn't touch that suspicious-looking Will Powers' photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. <laughs> So there was throwing out one photo I've that noticed day. sometimes she kind of sounds like Yzma. <laughs> yeah. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Huh? A fanboy. F f fanboy? Steel Samurai fanboys. Real freaks, if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. Wait a second. <laughs> Didn't you just <gasps> say no one else could get in? Oh. I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that grows into the employee area. Yeah, I did oh, find yeah. that. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside, and well, that's where they come in. They, they come into the drain? <laughs> I told you they were freaks. <laughs> oh, and... Uh, and? They're kids, children, whippersnappers. Kids? So, on the photo that you erased. It was a boy, probably second or third grade. He's the murderer. <laughs> what? There goes his lead. <laughs> uh, order, order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate. On their way to the studios that day, one was the steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be about second or third grade. Oh uh, yes, well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade. Huh. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield a samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right, as I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I raised the data. Um, uh, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. I miss recess. Okay. Right. And no forgetting vital information this time, for, for God's sake. For real, please don't make 17 testimonies, you old fucking yaggedy rack bag. Jesus fuck. <laughs> yaggedy rack? I don't know. October 18th, 1108 AM, District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. Mr. Powers. Y yes. <laughs> Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I, I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping. Honest. So who was the steel samurai in that security photo? How should I know? <laughs> the steel samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better care of that stuff! I couldn't imagine anyone wanting to steal a steel samurai costume. I would. <laughs> I mean, I know everyone would, but so... <laughs> Where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. Ugh. That's not the kind of sniff <laughs> that you should have done. <laughs> Oops. Uh. You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! What are we going to do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that can conceivably have done this. <gasps> right! And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we get another day. Right. But if you pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. Oh, God. You don't sound very optimistic. <laughs> I'm not op optimistic at all, actually. <laughs> at least he's honest. Hey, Nick. It's time. Okay. Let's go. <sighs> this is stressing me out. <laughs> what does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> It's weird, like, you sound like Kronk, and, and I sound like Yzma. <laughs> Pull the lever! Stop! Okay, sorry. God, that's so annoying. It's what I have to do. God, for now, reconvene for the trial, Mr. Rupaus, and my girl. Yes, and we'll reconvene next time. Ah, my throat hurts from I talking like old people. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. 
Oh, God. <laughs>